How are you doing? So we're here today at uh, Advantage Clan Northwest Chicagoland, and we are going to be working with Oxypar DC. That's JT Mayer. I'm Mark Meyer. Here's the rest of the guys. We're going to get busy. thing that I would say is we want to make sure that we wet the surface out completely, right? Okay. Now, it doesn't, you know, require really much more than that, okay? Yeah. You're going to be, I mean, you're probably used to seeing yeah. that sort of thing, right? Plenty of fire. Okay. Now, the one thing I would say is that you're probably causing yourself to sometimes use a little bit more product if you're waiting for this yeah. too long, right? What we should begin to see is the transition between a real white foam and then like a dirty foam. Yeah. Okay. Now, more frequently, um, the, the DC tends to have a little bit wa more watery foam. You probably could tell on those, uh, on that video even that I show you, that, that it's really the thick when you use the LR. That's just a preference okay. sort of thing, right? Okay. So, you know, obviously this piece of wood here is rotted. We're not going to get it to a certain level, but it is a good example of just how much soil load and everything you've got in that surface, right? So when I'm educating a customer about what we do in terms of why an Oxypar is important, not only does it identify the soil load initially by, by foaming on contact, but it's going to penetrate the soil load and penetrate the surface to lift and suspend that soil load so that we can remove it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not a future co conducive condition toward mold growth. And if we eliminate the moisture source, eliminate the food source, now we don't have any risk of return. So doing it properly is what's important, okay. not just hiding, you know, the staining and things yeah. like that with a, with a chlorinated product, right? So you can see, you know, the drier it gets, the more it's going to continue to lighten and lighten, right? Yeah. So I think what's going on with a lot of people is the reason they're not getting the stain removal results that they're looking for out of the Oxypar is because they don't know how much soil load is actually really built up in that. Right? Does that make some sense? Yeah. 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 So that's why I asked you about your procedure and things like that earlier, is that's what we're after. We're after getting all the dirt and gunk and soil and everything else out of there. We're not just after applying, you know, the product and HEPA vacuuming it necessarily because that can't do, quite honestly, what this can do. No. Yeah. Right? Right? So it's, it's a, the clean surface that we're truly after. I mean, we, we haven't been here that long, and you can see yeah. how light this yeah. is becoming, right? And this, you know, is a... That's amazing. That really is amazing to see yeah. the difference. And see, we didn't touch this at all. See, what I, I run into sometimes with customers is that they think that just using um, Oxypar in a way that you might use an antimicrobial to apply to the surface and kill something on the surface yeah is what's, you know, what they're looking for out of the Oxypar, and that's not true at all. You know, you're looking for that true removal, because we can apply it here all day long, and it's just going to settle back into the surface if we don't do something with it, okay. yeah. right? Yeah. There was a movie that you guys need to check out if you haven't seen it a few years ago. You know, uh, Jack Black and got, you know, comedians like yeah. that? Yeah. So they did this movie, it was called Envy. Have you ever seen it? No, I have not. Okay, so it's about these two best friends and they, um, they, let me think about this. Jack Black discovers this formula to eliminate dog poop. So people no longer have to like pick up dog poop and things like that, and they call it vaporize, okay? <laughs> so the deal is, is that it might be right there, and he you know, shoots it with it, and it just vanishes into thin air, right? Wow. And the, the problem is that he becomes extremely wealthy uh, off this. He brings his best friend into the company, but then he decide, his wife decides to run for political office. And the, 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 <laughs> she's unsuccessful at this because they, everybody asks where the crap went, right? Like everybody's like, where does it go? You know, and this becomes like a scandal sort of thing. And what I like to emphasize with people is 
is that there is no such thing as vaporize. Right. Whether you hide the, you know, the staining and the soil load with a chlorinated product, um, it's still there, right? Yeah. And so what we want to do is remove it so that customers don't have future problems and so that you can really create that long-term relationship where you have the moisture controls in place, you're doing the annual inspections which are leading to you know, sustainable cash flow for your company and things of that right. nature, and you're getting more importantly those future referrals where people just trust you so implicitly right. that with the education that you bring to them, the things that you do over and above what other companies do are just you know so different, right? Yeah. And nobody educates to that degree that, that we see out there, which is why we originally created those booklets. Now I sent all of the illustrations and the content over to your daughter this morning because now we're gonna turn those into oh working presentations so that you guys can really describe this entire process to your clients okay. and when they hear somebody else use words like kill or bleach or any of these types of things then you've educated them to the point where they go well that's not the proper way to do it in the first place yeah. right and they be, your customer really be, begins to understand what's right mm -hmm. and that's going to look great right there awesome. once that, it once really that is awesome what's yeah. a big difference yeah but you see how every time we just applied a little bit to that, it allowed us to pull that soil load out of there. And that's the difference between a successful remediation and not. And see these other areas where this, we didn't pull a soil load out of or where it's just rotted, you know, you're not going to really do anything with it. It's just going to, you know, pretty much stay the same. Yeah. Because the soil load is still there. Yeah. That's the point. It's still there. Just proper Even if it's not like actually it's sitting on the surface. I'm glad that we were able to do a little bit of hands-on yeah. because you can kind of see like when we're talking about soil, we talk about it so much, but really seeing a before and after difference on a piece of wood like this that, you know, obviously yeah. <laughs> has been aging for a while outside oh, yeah. uh, allows us to illustrate the point a lot more clear clearly. Yeah.